We're here at the Glade Road Research Facility at Virginia Tech in Blacksburg. And we're going to talk a little bit about rough stalk bluegrass or poa trivialis and its close cousin, annual bluegrass, both of which are big problems in home lawns. Annual bluegrass is characterized by light green leaves that are shorter than rough stalk bluegrass. Rough stalk bluegrass stems are orange to red in color, and even the leaves have an orange tint to them. Both stems and leaves are longer than annual bluegrass. Rough stalk bluegrass grows rapidly in the spring and is often quite conspicuous in freshly mown tall fescue lawns because of the rapid growth rate of the weed. This research area is a perennial ryegrass lawn. The most common lawn grass in Virginia is tall fescue. Both of these lawn grasses can routinely be infested with rough stalk bluegrass, which is the taller growing lime green colored weed in this image. This plot was treated with glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, and reseeded last spring. The foreground plot and background plot are both non-chemical options for rough stalk bluegrass control. One year ago in the spring, the sod in these areas was completely removed and new sod that was visually weed free was brought in to replace it. A few rough stalk bluegrass plants have returned into the area, but population density has been reduced by at least 80%. By using a directed wiping application of glyphosate at a 10% solution, rough stalk bluegrass plants were treated one year ago in the spring. And this effectively reduced the population by 65 to 70% the following spring. The plots with uniform dark green turf grass in the background were sod removal and replacement and applying glyphosate as a renovation and reseeding. The plot in the foreground is sod removal and replacement. The surrounding plots are either non-treated or were treated with the selective herbicide exonerate. Non-selective herbicides like glyphosate and glufosinate can be effective, but this trial in tall fescue demonstrates their impact on turf grass aesthetics. Spot treating with a non-selective herbicide is far less impactful on turf grass aesthetics than complete renovation. Notice the foreground plots have been treated with the glove and glove method to remove rough stalk bluegrass, while the background plots have been completely treated in preparation for seeding. This plot was treated with Exonerate Plus Tenacity one week ago. Notice the rapid activity on rough stalk bluegrass with no injury to the surrounding tall fescue. These selective treatments are effective for in-season control, but have not shown to reduce rough stalk bluegrass populations in subsequent years. One effective spot treatment method is the glove and glove method. So I have my materials here. This is a protective nitrile glove, and over that we're going to put an absorbent cotton glove. And we also have a container, which we would put our herbicide solution in, for example, if you're using glyphosate, you would normally mix the product at 10% by volume, 10% product and 90% uh, water. And we also have a secondary container. We place our uh, product container in the secondary container to avoid contamination from the bottom of this container, causing kill rings on the turf. So we're gonna put our nitrile glove on and then over that, our absorbent cotton glove and now we're ready to treat uh, our unwanted weeds in the turf. Just dip our glove in the water and for example this poa trivialis plant right here in the turf I'm just going to wipe the foliage of that plant trying to avoid touching the desirable turf in the process. The glove and glove method is also an excellent way to control weeds in your ornamental beds. This will prevent spray drift onto desirable ornamental plants and it's quick and easy to do, a lot easier than hand pulling. So these studies demonstrate that non-selective herbicides like glyphosate when used for complete renovation and reseeding or when used in conjunction with sod replacement or as a dabbing or glove-in-glove -glove spot treating method can produce 
long-term rough stalk bluegrass control. Selective herbicides like exonerate or exonerate plus tenacity give us excellent safety to tall fescue and in-season control of rough stalk bluegrass but do not reduce rough stalk bluegrass populations in subsequent years.